So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would know the day before yesterday, I accidentally locked my keys in my car. Um, and I was going to vlog that day, that was Friday, and uh, my camera bag, my wallet and everything in there I needed to vlog. So that didn't happen, I didn't get my keys, but I had spare keys. I know I had spare keys, but um, I couldn't find them all day. Um, so I went on to the next day, a whole day without my car, I'm about to use my brother's car to go get, you know, food and stuff like that. Um, but all my camera gear was in the car, so I couldn't make a vlog. So yeah, but the next day, uh, my mum found them in a drawer, which was upstairs in this old room. Um, but the drawer was turned around facing to the wall, so I couldn't actually see that. It was my drawers um, from my old room. So yeah, the keys were in there, spare keys were in there, and yeah, I got my keys back. So, that's the story of that one. Sunday today is the 21st of June. It's also Father's Day. So I've given my dad a card and everything like that. And I have to go and try on a suit, because um, I'm going to a wedding in July, early July. <laughs> So what's up guys, I'm just heading to this nice spot now um, to go grab some late evening shots. The sun's looking quite nice. Yeah, I feel like I want to get some more kind of, you know, late evening shots, sunset shots where the sun is, um, well it's got some colour to it and like the light's not so harsh. So I'm going to go to this little place now, take some of those shots and then later on, um, when it's night, when it gets dark, I'm gonna try and get some um, long exposure shots. As it's the longest day of the year today, I thought, you know, why not try and get some long exposure shots and make the most of the day. So, let's turn in here. This looks nice. Gorgeous. So nice here. It's awesome barley fields. Awesome tracks. Where the tractors that come through here. Look at this. Lovely shots you can get through the tracks here. Look how cool that looks. Awesome. Nice. Just gonna get another one of my lenses, gonna get a 50mm out and get some of this barley. Some nice shot, a field on it as well. We'll play around here for a bit and then might go to another place, go back home, have some dinner, and then head back out for some night shooting. Have done a long exposure in probably about a year. Well, I don't know, maybe, maybe a year. But, well, I haven't posted one on Instagram for about a year, I think. Um, so, yeah. It's been quite a while since I've done one, so that would be, be pretty cool, I think. Uh, got the 50mm, plus, oh god, my 24mm on. I'm going to set up a little time lapse, I think, because these clouds 
up there, if you see. Look quite cool, and they're moving quite quickly. So I'm gonna see if I can get any movement out of these clouds, as they look quite cool. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse using my uh, using my tripod. I've got the um, Manfrotto carbon fiber tripod, which is quite good. I've only got it recently. Yeah, and it hasn't failed me, so it's been quite good. Yeah, so I'm gonna set up the tripod, put my DSLR on, and put my wide angle lens on, and see what we can get. Look at this big guy, walking with the tripod, approaching the field. Pretty awesome clouds we've got here. Right, I'm gonna put the tripod here, just before the field, so we get this nice barley in as well. Right, I'm gonna set it up, and let's shoot. Right, so I've hit record on the camera. I've got it right above the barley, you see I've lowered the tripod a little bit, to get the, um, get the tip of the barley in so it looks quite nice in the wind. Um, when the time lapse is going. So yes, and I've kept it away from the crop a little bit because I don't want to damage it. This is what it looks like on the screen right now. You can only see a little bit of the clouds, but the clouds look like they get shot on this camera. Yeah, which is quite unusual. Don't normally see clouds like that. But yes, I put it on um, manual focus all the way to um, infinity. Infinity focus is basically as far as the lens can focus. So I'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes, sit in the car for a bit, um, come back, see what it looks like, and then put it in this vlog. So after this clip, you should see the time lapse. Start the camera. Let's go back. Let's go get some dinner. Oh, these shots are cool, like. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this right now, it's still light with this awesome blue haze in the sky. Wow, it's dark. Boom, I've come to this bridge um, in front of me because I want to take some long exposure shots. Yeah, so long exposure. I haven't taken long exposure in a very, very long time, so I want to test it out. Actually, I haven't taken long exposure on my new camera, actually, so that'll be good. Um, I heard on this camera that the long exposure time after you know, the processing time is a lot shorter, um, but I still got the noise reduction thing on. Um, in the settings, so I don't get too much grain. So, let's get it started. Tripod. I need my shutter release, because it might do more than 30 seconds. Obviously need the camera. So, I'm only doing a test down this one, because it's starting to spit rain, um, which is quite annoying, it's bloody freezing out here as well. Uh, I'm just going to do a tester, then I might move to another location, do another one. So I stopped the shutter, just processing with that red light, and we can see what we get. So there you go guys, that's the first test run. But as you can see, there's a little dot right there. What that is, is a raindrop. It did start to spit out there because the rain was coming towards the camera and the wind. So I might go to another location. So I've come into the town. I don't normally, I don't normally do this for long exposure but this could be interesting. Right guys, I've done a pretty... Okay. Hey there bro. You right there? What are you doing? This one's can be quite dangerous, I can actually snap at you. So I'm not gonna get too close to this guy. I've done quite a bold move. I've come right into the middle of the town and I've got this awesome blue bridge in front of me there and some water. So I'm gonna set the camera here. So yeah, I'm gonna do a couple of long exposures here. See how they come out. As you can see, it's raining a little bit, but not on the lens, which is quite good. It might make a cool effect in the water. So let's have a look. Yeah, so down by the river there, the canal, um, it started to really piss with rain, and I got one photo out of it, um, which is quite cool. You, 
like you can see the um, the light streaks in the water and stuff, which I'll show now. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, the the town down in Newbury is a bit boring, so didn't really excite me that much. <laughs> um, but the other one I got over the bridge, which I'll show now, I just did that little dot out, um, which I think looks much better now, and I brightened it up quite a lot. Um, yeah, so that one works. Yeah, I apologise if the content isn't good towards the end of this video, but you know, it's a vlog. You can't really predict these things. I can't change the weather how I want it. I can't move the clouds out of the sky to get a nice, you know, long exposure or something like that. But at least I made most of the day, because it is the longest day of the year today in the UK. I don't know if it's that's right for everywhere else in the world, but I know it's in the UK, the 21st of June. Also, it was Father's Day, had a nice meal earlier and everything like that, so it was a good day. Got a nice picture of the field, and I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, which was in this vlog. Yeah, so all in all, I think a pretty good day, actually. So, yeah, I'm just at the end of my drive now, I'm gonna go back. It is currently 19 past 11 at the moment. So, yeah, and I'm quite tired, actually. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.